sure that I don't forget it because sometimes I just focus on 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 speaking <laughs> and and I forget about recording and this is uh, not ideal. So yeah, we are recording. First of all, um, thanks a lot for connecting today. Um, and most important, thanks a lot for your interest in supporting and contributing to JSON Schema. Um, we are excited about um, you um, having you being here. Uh, this is um, extremely important for our project. Uh, JSON Schema is a very special project uh, because as you probably re realize, we are a standard um, and the core of our, our job is uh, maintaining and evolving the standard. It's not a tool itself, right? And this is one of the reasons probably it's not easy for us to have new contributors. Uh, it's something that we are working on, but um, having you here um, is actually having a extremely positive impact in our project. So thanks for everything you have done as of now and good luck for your application. And hopefully uh, we will be collaborating in the upcoming months uh, in the different projects that we presented. Um, yeah, uh, as I said, we are recording this meeting. Uh, this meeting, this recording is going to be shared in YouTube, uh, but if someone here in the meeting is against sharing this in YouTube, um, I won't do it. So just send me a direct message if you like, if you don't think of our table to sharing this publicly. But sharing is important in, in open source. So we would love to share it this in YouTube because it can inspire um, contributors for this year, but also contributors for a coming year. So yes, uh, we will we'll love to share this in YouTube. Um, what else? Uh, we During the meeting, we encourage everyone to challenge any language or behavior that is not inclusive, harmful, or against our code of conduct. And we will try to stay on mute when someone is speaking and use the Zoom reactions for us to attempt to speak. And this is the agenda that I have for today. Um, the focus is, first of all, Q&A. And secondly, uh, tips for uh, help you prepare your uh, Google Summer of Code applications. Any questions so far as of now? Regarding the agenda? Oh, no. Okay, so let's go with the point number one, Q&A. Q&A not related to what I'm going to speak right now. So Q&A for your uh, things that you are actually doing, like qualification tasks, on DAFs, uh, the same type of questions that uh, I just replied regarding uh, Postman implication. So any question that requires like speaking about it right now, because this is uh, the right moment. Uh, Asmit, please go ahead. Yes, sir. Uh, so the uh, about qualification tasks. So actually, who is going to evaluate those qualification tasks? I mean, when we submit the proposal, uh, that is also my second question. Like, which organization are we going to submit the proposal under? Like uh, Postman or JSON Schema? Okay. The qualification task is, is not exactly the same thing that the application. However, when you submit your application, uh, please make sure that you are submitting the details of your application task. So those are two different things. But um, it will be positive that you just send your application task to your mentor. That's it, saying, hey, uh, I must admit, uh, if, you are, if you are not already speaking with your mentor, just send um, them a message say, uh, introducing yourself, saying that you are done with the application. And if something else is required from that aspect, uh, uh, you are happy to to reply, and after that, just focus in your application, making sure that your qualification qualification task is included. Um, the is is part of the same thing for us. Uh, qualification task is. Um, let me share. I I have a slide for this, so I'm going to to show this this slide why qualification task is important because qualification task help us to evaluate your soft skills so it can give us a sense of how you collaborate with others how you engage with the community 
how to engage with peers. Uh, so it can help us to to assess your, your soft skills. So this is and this is important because we are going to collaborate for for some months together, right? So soft skills and resilience and availability to to learn and adapt is key. Secondly, qualification tasks help us to uh, evaluate your coding skills. So it's, of course, we are going to build uh, stuff, right? So we need to make sure that you you have the required skills for that. So qualification tasks help us on that sense. And finally, qualification tasks help us to see what are your um, problem solving skills, because um, we are presenting uh, all of you a challenge and uh, seeing how you deal with that challenge help us to, to get a sense about how you deal with problem solving. So this is what the qualification time task is helping us. Probably you are going to get feedback, extended feedback, but uh, depending on what you did and depending on the nature of your qualification task, maybe the mentor can give you some tips or, or comments that can help you like refine some stuff but it's not going to be extended feedback it's something that we are going uh, to use as a goal for us to make a decision about who is going to be the selected um, contributor for each project that makes sense Asmit? yes sir sir another question i had that was uh, uh, as i'm working i'm trying for botai which is a project right under json schema so the proposal uh, for which organization do I have to submit the proposal? Like a post we'll, JSON schema. We'll communicate all of that. Why? Because we don't know exactly how many slots we are getting. So from a mentoring organization perspective, we still need to get um, communication from Google to see how many slots we have in each organization. So we need to make that uh, decision. So... Don't worry, because that, all of this is going to be properly communicated. Just make sure that you are engaged in our Slack channel, in the GSOC channel, and we'll communicate all of that. It's just uh, you can expect uh, both organizations, so, so don't worry. So we'll communicate it as soon as... Uh, I don't know exactly what is the date when we know the slot allocations. So let me check. I'll, uh, I mean, it should be before the application. I'll send the date later. So April 29th, this, it's staying on the Google some report site. The 29th? Uh, okay. So the same, probably the day after, uh, because I need for communicate where the project is going to be published. I need to have... Um, a meeting with my peer in Async API because uh, we are collaborating in the Postman uh, organization, right? We need to decide what projects will go to, to Postman and what other projects will go to Async API org is their, their decision and to JSON schema org is our decision. So yeah, we'll communicate that uh, the day, the same day or the day after. What what day you said? The 20? 29th of April. Of, of April. April, okay. Yeah. And as I said, if your uh, your project goes into the Postman application, you will use that organization for all the GSOC management stuff, like sending your midterm evaluation, the closure of the project, getting the, the payments and the stipends and so on. But the real work will happen in the same place. So it's just um, for management, yeah, let's say, yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah, my pleasure. Mintu? Hi, Go ahead. Uh, uh, I was asking that, uh, should, should we submit only one proposal, only one tax proposal, or should we target uh, two, three projects? Um, you can send up to three. Up to three in the whole Google Summit of Code uh, program. So basically, the, um, the Google Summit of Code platform is not going to allow you to submit uh, more than three. So, uh, and I suggest 
I mean, if you have something solid to send for multiple projects, I suggest do it because sometimes you can, uh, if you target just one single project, it's great because you have you have been focused on on that. But it can happen that you can find like a very very strong uh, candidate uh, in that project too. But pro maybe you already saw your soft skills on, with the qualification task. Uh, if you see my screen. Um, maybe you already proved your soft skills and coding skills. So if you have a uh, um, good enough application for other project, um, you can have uh, like uh, more chances, but it should be good enough. So the qualification task, uh, I'm, I'm saying qualification task because in my case, for example, I'm mentor of, of two projects and co-mentor of another one. Uh, so and qualification task was the same for creating the tool, the new tooling page, and also implementing the CCD approach for the website. Uh, so the qualification task was the same. So for me, uh, I know, I already know what are the soft skills and coding skills of, of uh, the people that contributed to, to uh, deliver those qualification tasks. So I'm just expecting the, the application just to to do my final ranking of those projects. But if you are going to contribute, for example, bow tie, uh, the, qualification, the qualification task is totally different. So you will make the effort to engage with bow tie project, uh, fix the issue. Uh, I mean, uh, whatever is the nature of the qualification task. And the same for the language server. Language server, uh, the qualification task is totally different and the mentor is totally different. The same for uh, Corvus, the, the .NET um, uh, tool, and the same for the upgrade, downgrade uh, rules project. So uh, we, we are a very diverse group of mentors. So if you can target two, uh, it can help you, but not with a quality application. Otherwise, it's, it's better to focus on just one. Thanks. Great. Okay, note that uh, probably we'll have more questions after uh, after the, the talk, but let's continue with this slide. We have been talking about qualification tasks, but let's speak about the application. So what, what we are going to evaluate with your application? We are going to evaluate, again, what is your problem solving uh, approach? So how do you... Uh, break down uh, and, and focus, understand and break down uh, the challenge. How you make your your planning? So this is the the big the biggest part of the application. Uh, do it cool. Introduce yourself. Uh, explain why you are different and why you can make a, a an impact in our in our community. But as I said, there are uh, very clear aspects we are going to evaluate: uh, your problem solving uh, skills, your planning skills. And this is something that I would like to highlight here, because imagine that you you have a, a great soft skills. So you are being great at collaborating, being proactive, supporting others, um, engaging well with the code of conduct, like making everything move slowly, uh, soft, uh, smoothly. Um, you have uh, great coding, uh, coding skills, you are a problem solver, you made a, group, a, good, a great planning. Imagine that until here, you, you, you have done all of that, right? But maybe you can have more people uh, that as good as you on, on that aspect. So I, I can share my personal view of this. It's not each mentor is different, but for me, what can make a, different, a difference is how creative or how critic, uh, your critical thinking and your creativity, because we are presenting you some challenges but the requirements are not fully close in, in, in some projects, right? So, and, and something that is important for me is that you see the project, of course, you focus on solving the challenge, but also you, you have your own ideas and, and proposals that can help us to make a, a implement a better solution that goes beyond what we, the challenge we are, we are presenting. So this is something that in my case, I'm evaluating uh, positively as a differentiating factor. So 
And, and this is something, this is a good piece of feedback for all of you for your future careers. Don't focus only on the requirements. Of course, the requirements are important, but try to be critical, try to be creative, and try to, if it's possible, uh, suggest some uh, features or ideas can, can help the project like um, be, be even better. So this is a, a piece of feedback that I suggest all of you to, to include in your applications. And finally, the aggregation of all of that is what we can identify like the potential of a candidate. So if we put all of, all of those things together, um, each mentor can have uh, uh, his view about what is the potential of that person. Potential means um, career development because uh, of course we are caring, we are caring about our project, but if we find someone that we can help that person to to develop their career with with this kind of tips that I just said about being critical and creative. So this is this is something that we evaluate. So we will find we will make our image about what is the potential of that person, considering all of that and considering also how we can help that person. And with the final view of potential, we will build um, our ranking by project. So this is this is the picture I like to share with all of you, the elements that are important for your application. What else? Um, additional resources. There is one guide um, that is this one. The official guide of Google Summer of Code. Uh, can you see my screen still, right? Can you yes. see this? Okay. Yeah, uh, did you know this, this web page? No. Okay. No, we are exactly in the right time for this. This is the official Google Summer of Code um, guide for contributors. Here you can find uh, uh, good tips for explain the nature of the program and specifically here uh, aspect for application, making how you can engage with the organization or tips to choose for one or another organization, tips to to um, choose one or another project, and here, writing a proposal. Um, they are setting here some basic tips, uh, like um, make sure that you are eligible for Google Summer of Code. For example, uh, you need to be uh, um, uh, an adult. So if you are under 18, you can participate, things like that. So please check your legal requirements and basic elements of a quality proposal. Of course, your contact details, title, um, short summary, how you can benefit uh, the community. So how what, what can be your impact in the project and the community, the deliverables, uh, how you approach the challenge. I mean, this is like the very basic elements. Is I, I suggest you go beyond this, but this is the the tips they are sharing. So just take a look to this, please, uh, when you have time and uh, submit proposal early. Some people already is already uh, submitting proposals. So as soon as, um, okay, we have a slot allocation. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I need to check, I, I'll send a communication probably on Monday because if the proposals uh, can can be submitted in in both organizations i will suggest everyone sending the proposals to G, uh, json schema not to postman initially because uh, if we have proposal in both organizations it can be uh, a little bit complex for us so let me let me take a decision about this so uh, as soon, uh, the same way that i suggested waiting until the slot allocation. I think that this is not going to be practical because we need to start, we are going to encourage everyone to submit drafts for early review 
So if you have time, we can give you feedback depending on the uh, the number of applications we get. We will be able to to give early feedback so you can improve your application. So uh, please um, wait probably until Monday, and in Monday I will directly provide my pro my direct um, indication about what is the organization uh, you need to submit what. Okay, so we are not going to wait until the slot allocation because it's going to be too late. So I'm going to um, directly suggest you to submit certain uh, drafts. Uh, so I'm going to clarify what projects are we expecting to publish in, in Postman and what projects are we expecting to publish in JSON schema. Okay, I'm going to write all of this and communicate it after the meeting. So yeah, that is going to be communicated and available on Monday. This is thin. And second thing, as I said, if you have the time and you have a good proposal ready to review, you can submit it in a draft status and, and send uh, the mentor a message saying, uh, if you have time, please, um, I would love to get your feedback. So the mentor can go and and give you feedback if, he, if they have time. Sorry for being speaking for too long. Uh, I Someone was with the hand rise. So if you like to, you still have the question, just go ahead. Uh, no, no, you already answered that question. My, my question was uh, like, where do we have to summon the draft proposal? And I, I guess you answered like 12. Yeah. I was, I was uh, as I said, in my mind, the, the ideal approach is wait for the allocations, but this is too late. So we need to give you already a place for you to up upload everything. So yeah, I'm going to communicate that. I need to think for a moment about if uh, we are going to allow both organizations or we are actually decide some projects in one organization and what projects in others. So let me uh, think this for 20 minutes after the meeting and I will communicate it uh, today or during the weekend. So as soon as the uh, application period starts next Monday, you can just go ahead and follow the uh, follow my, my recommendation. And if you go to that organization and you find that the project I said that is going to be uh, there available is not available, just let us know. Okay, so we can send our draft proposal for review to the uh, to the respective mentors. I think that this uh, this can be done uh, on Monday through the Google Summer of Code uh, platform. It's going to be better because we can, as of now, we have been using um, Slack or or okay. personal communications for asking for for feedback but since monday you can the, the google summer of code platform is actually going to allow uploading a proposal but make sure that you upload it as draft in that in draft status and uh, probably you can um, complement that with a personal uh, direct message to the mentor saying that you already uploaded a draft of your proposal and, and if possible, you would like to get feedback. All right, thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. So yeah, please make sure that you visit this guide. Uh, the URL is here, so the first, the first one. Secondly, I'm adding here two, three different examples of um, experiences of people uh, explaining how to send a proposal. So this first one, It's a blog, a blog post uh, from someone that was selected. And this person is sharing here some good tips about how uh, they approach it, the, the challenge of submitting the proposal. So this is a good source of information. And uh, another source, this one, The same. Uh, this person is explaining uh, how was their approach for submitting the, the proposal. In addition, something that uh, I shared in Slack also um, a bunch of examples the other day. Let me find the communication.
One minute. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, cool. This is the message. So I'm going to copy this in uh, in the chat and add it in. So please, uh, I'm I'm pasting I'm, I'm copy copy pasting in the chat uh, a Slack conversation. You will find there a bunch of uh, Google Summer of Code uh, examples, uh, Google Summer of Code applications. So this is something that you can use to refine and find ideas for your proposal. And I'm going to add it here. Is is so? Uh, what what we did? We reviewed the criteria. Uh, we reviewed the official guide and, and some examples. Let me let's take a look uh, together to the timelines. So we are in this state, potential contributors discuss application ideas with mentoring organizations. This is what we did. And next Monday, we are going to start uh, the application period that is going to last until April, April the 2nd. So on that, uh, during that time, you can, uh, you can work in refining your proposals. And remember, you can send up to three. Um, today or during the weekend, I'm going to confirm uh, in what mentor organizations are going. You can send the, pro the proposals, and th th making it clear that uh, what is exactly the the place. And if you find find a challenge uh, in that process uh, or a problem, just um, send us a, a, a comment in the in the Slack, and we will find it. We will fix it. But yeah, this is the this is um, the challenge of having two different organizations for the same project ideas. Uh, we, we thought that just one was was going to be selected, but we have two, so we need to deal with that ambiguity. But uh, it will work. Don't worry. More questions. Um, can you just pull up the uh, what was it uh the flow chart? Uh, yeah. I, I don't know how to call this chart, but it's like uh, I was just putting together my thoughts about what is my my thinking about. Can you see my screen? Yeah, yeah, I can, I can. I'm um, going to share. I'm going to share this. So, qualification task helped us to evaluate soft skills and coding skills and problem solving. And with the application, we are going to confirm uh, what we have seen in qualification task. And also check what is your what are your planning skills, what the, what are your motivations, how you introduce yourself, how you sell yourself, and I my tip for all of you is try to be creative and and critical with the project. Look beyond the requirements, think out of the box because sometimes that critical and creative thinking can make a difference to differentiate you from others. Everything is everything is important. But when everything when where is a tie, uh, it can it can help. And with all of this, uh, the mentors we are getting our own um, view of what is the potential of of each candidate. But I I can tell you right now that we have a lot of people that is great. All of you are great. So <laughs> uh, it's not going to be easy at all. Take the decisions is what I can tell you. So yeah. Um, and it's, it's, it's amazing having this uh, talent uh, with us. So yeah, I can anticipate that it's going to be, uh, they are going to be a lot of hard decisions in all the projects. So because you guys are super strong. Go ahead, Pranay. Sorry, uh, I have another question. Uh, my voice might be a bit, bit sluggish because it's 6 a.m. here at US and I, you know, I haven't slept yet. So I was just reading for this meeting. Uh, sorry for that. Yeah. So well, my last, uh, my another question was, you know, how we were uh, asked to write, uh, uh, like answer four or five questions, like basic introductory questions. 
uh, in the contrib uh, like that are mentioned in the contributors guide like uh, why are you interested in the project and uh, questions like that in the application no, no, not in the application. So when you open up the uh, contributors guide, so we have to answer these questions. I mean, it uh, was in our respective issues. So, like, are, are we supposed to uh, are we supposed to attach these in in our applications as well, or like these are um, just it's independent. I think that the, this suggestion of introducing yourself in the issue is like uh, just guidance for ice breaking of en start engaging with the organization. But our deliverable, what we are going to look is the application. And the application should be everything that conforms a strong application plus um, a way for us to evaluate, to, to, to link your qualification task with your application. So uh, depend and whatever is the nature of the qualification task you have done, just make sure that you are putting all of that in the in the application. And you can just probably also include like a a paragraph explaining or uh, just uh, how you approach the um, qualification task, but also focusing your own view of the project for preparing a strong application. All the details count, is what I mean. That makes sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for that. And sorry if uh, I, 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 did, I wasn't aware that we have people connecting from the US, so... Sorry for that. So, and thank you for the effort of, of staying connected. No, you're good. I was just writing the proposal. And it was a perfect time. That, that's fine. Thank you. You're welcome. So, are we ready for working hard with the proposals, applications? Uh, I hope you are. As I said, um, we are excited uh, for the amazing response we had this year for Google Summer of Code. You all are amazing. Uh, you already have a strong and huge impact in the project. And, and we really th we feel thankful for that. So congratulations for all of you. And yeah, now it's time to, to finalize the big effort that you have done and work hard in your proposals. And yeah, uh, I would like to wish Good luck to all of you. Uh, and, I can, and as I said, it's going to be a very difficult time for mentors because we need to decide in really strong uh, people like all of you. Uh, but yeah, let's keep working together on this. And another time, the reminder, I'm going to communicate today or during the weekend what, what is the right place for you to submit your draft proposals in, in, in this period of application uh, time. So. And that's it for today. Um, thank you. Um, I hope you will have a great weekend. Uh, take care and see you in GitHub and Slack. Bye-bye. Thank you. And bye. Oh, thank bye. You.